Hello, Timmy Nafso here, Executive Vice President and Co-Founder of Fortis Pay. And we're talking about Airbnb again. And what Airbnb has been really focusing on, we talked about how they went after different things like wellness and office space and trying to make sure that they can compete with the hotels and, and compete for the business traveler. Uh, they understand there's a huge market segment out there that is the business traveler that they want to capture. And in that initiative, which we've actually seen as growth year over year, to where now 15% of their site's bookings are actually coming from the business traveler. And Airbnb is doing some interesting uh, things to, to increase that, right? They've uh, teamed up as an example through Conquer Travel where people can manage their expenses as a business. Um, you can actually sign up with Airbnb. Their intention is to be able to have customized sites and bookings where even uh, the company can get charged directly by Airbnb um, and pay directly uh, interesting ways for them to capture the business traveler our belief in that entire process right Airbnb wanting to come after hotels wanting to come after the business travelers quite a challenge right as a business traveler you know years ago 50 years ago 60 years ago hotels motels the entire travel space was very inconsistent. Even air, airlines were very inconsistent in travel, right? There was only so much data available. How hotels were built was much different than they're built today. As time went on, hotels responded, brands responded to what it was that business travelers actually wanted, right? So we see things like <clears throat> complimentary breakfast that had come out, I believe, in the 90s. Um, and then it went to even hot breakfast in the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, you know, you have items like you know dry cleaning services same day dry cleaning shoe shining things like that to actually help the business traveler small meeting rooms that help the business traveler Airbnb is trying to they, they're trying to fight and, and, and get every single one of those uh, pieces of the market where they will struggle is this you're dealing with folks on the Airbnb side that are renting their homes that are really not hospitality people and when you think about business travel and I say, hey, you know what, I'm going to go out of town and I have a big meeting. The last thing I want to worry about is the inconsistency of where it is that I'm going to stay. That's why a lot of the mid tier properties that don't have consistent properties suffer in the space of business travel, right? They may be <clears throat> busy uh, uh, with other types of travel, right? Uh, leisure travel, family travel, but when it comes to business travel, they may suffer. Loyalty, right? Brand loyalty comes from consistency, right? So um, <clears throat> Marriott had done a very good job the Hampton, the Hilton Garden, a lot of these properties that started to become very specific and where the guest, the business traveler, knew exactly what they were gonna get from that property. Because the last thing, again, that they want is to get there and find out that it's a different room than the last time they were there, right? Um, and the more things that the business, can, uh, business traveler can keep constant, the more likely they're gonna stay there because they're worried about this big business meeting or this big presentation or this big sale that they're, they're trying to make. The last thing they wanna worry about is the accommodations not being what they expect it to be. Airbnb has struggled with that very uh, you know item, right? Like, hey, how do I make sure that that homeowner is gonna treat the guest the same way that that homeowner will. So that 15% number, we really wanna dig into that number to find out, is that 15% that came into Airbnb because that was the first option for that traveler? You know, perhaps that business traveler is a higher end traveler and where they were going didn't have the accommodations that, you know, really met the bar or, or the level of which they wanted to stay. Right? Or maybe that business that was bringing in a large client said, hey, you know what, I'm bringing in the entire family and that hotel can't guarantee connecting rooms for the kids that are with them. So let's make sure that we get them in a home instead. Right? Um, was there a, a scarcity of rooms because there was a large convention in town forcing people to utilize the Airbnb solution? Or was it that, yes, the first option was Airbnb? So although that number 15% is very interesting, we wanna think about it from a different perspective. Well, what was the result of it? And as hotels, what we wanna pay attention to is where those 15% went, why they went there, and what's the motivation of that? Because like I said, with 
Airbnb coming after the hotel business space, it's a matter of time before they start to figure out some of these hospitality issues that they're having, set guidelines around it, set, set restrictions around it, right? Send cleaning crews in, you know, that are local cleaning companies to make sure that now the homeowner doesn't have to deal with that. Maintenance crews teaming up with local maintenance companies, right? Those are some of the things that we can see start to happen when you're thinking outside the box and trying to tackle these issues. So please comment below, let us know your thoughts and your feedback and thanks for listening.